Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you are going to be seeing how I get ready from beginning to end for an evening or nighttime outing. Of course, we are going to start off with the skin. So I've started off by applying some pure tea tree oil, which is what I do every single time I cleanse my face or have a shower. So my skin was particularly bad during the week that I filmed this, but I figured that's the best time to show you how I look after my skin. The tea tree oil really helps calm down any breakouts and really disinfect the area. Yay! I'm now adding some pure argan oil to my moisturiser. I love doing this, it really helps nourish your skin and helps heal your skin, especially over a long period of time. You will notice the drastic change in your skin. You will see me using the same oil from Organic later on in the video on my hair as well. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Okay, so two habits I'm really trying to add into my skin routine is one, to push your skin and your face upwards when you're applying moisturizer. It really helps lift your skin and avoid any wrinkles. Two, tap your skin after. I know it looks funny, but it really helps the blood circulation and helps the products work properly. Oh, and don't forget to moisturize your neck. I'm now going in with my favorite lip treatment from Urban Retreat. You've seen me use this before. And now the eye gel from Urban Retreat as well. And of course remember to always be super gentle around your eye area because it's very delicate and it tends to be the first area we develop wrinkles. This is the lovely Burberry Lip Glow Balm in the shade Pink Azalea. It's super moisturizing and only gives a tiny hint of color. I like to apply this and let it sink in whilst I do the rest of my makeup and then add lipstick right at the end. Here is my little bottle of magic again. I will be applying this into my damp hair. I focus on the tips and any remaining bits I don't mind putting into the top of my hair and even into my scalp because it's really really good for it and it doesn't leave a greasy feel at all. I like to dry my hair at a medium heat, put it in a bun, leave it slightly wet which will produce some waves later and let it dry naturally. I'm now going in with the poreless primer from Too Faced. This honestly does some miracles for your pores. I'm adding just a bit of this YSL primer to add a dewy glow to my skin uh, rather than leave it completely matte. And finally we begin with some concealer. This is my favourite concealer palette from MAC. My husband actually bought me this a while ago and I haven't put it down since. I basically just focus on any darker patches, any problematic areas before I go in with my foundation. I'm now using uh, one of the lighter shades from the same palette on my under eye area just to brighten the area and colour correct it a little bit. I'm also using that same shade to highlight the brow bone. So now of course go over all the concealer with a damp beauty blender. Okay, I can't even begin to explain how obsessed I am with this foundation. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. My shade is Warm Beige. Oh, and I'm using the Morphe Angled Buffer Brush, which is absolutely incredible for foundation. Mm -hmm. 
Another current obsession of mine is definitely this Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation. This shade is in Warm Nude and I absolutely love, 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 love it. I usually just add it on top of my other foundation to add extra coverage and make it super, super glowy. Now I'm adding some old school LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is to make the under eye area extra bright. I'm now baking my under eye area with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna leave this on whilst I get on with my brows in a bit. I also like adding this to the tip of my nose and any other areas where I get a little bit shiny in my T-zone area. This just helps it keep it matte and fresh for longer. I'm now starting with my brows and I'm using the Burberry Effortless Eyebrow Definer. This is in the shade Ash Brown. You will recognise this beauty from my last video, it's the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Every time I use this palette I am in awe of it. I am bringing you guys in closer now so you can see how I do my eyes up close and personal. So the first shade I'm going into my crease with is Sandalwood. I realised my eyebrows were a bit gappy so I quickly went over them again and added some eye gel from Benefit. I am now going in with what is possibly my favourite colour from the palette which is Henna. I'm now going to use the most pigmented brown ever called Coco. Just look how juicy that is. Look at that colour payoff, I can't get over it. Now it's time to blend, blend, blend. This is why it's really important to go in with a crease colour at first before you apply a dark colour to your lid and then just blend for as long as you can until it becomes seamlessly blended. I'm using this lovely mascara by Charlotte Tilbury before I apply lashes. And of course I'm using Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes. I'm now quickly brushing off that translucent powder that we left to bake under our eyes. I'm so sorry my battery died whilst I was contouring my nose. I am now going into my cheekbones with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick. This is amazing for contouring, I absolutely love it. However, do be mindful that you need to start blending this as soon as you apply it whilst it's still creamy, otherwise it won't budge. I'm going in with my all-time favourite bronzer by Kiko. If you're wearing a low cut top, don't forget to add bronzer to the areas there as well. Finally, it's time for highlight. This is the sparkling dust from Inglot. Just look how shimmery. Okay, it's now time for lipstick. Make sure you're being super careful if you're using a dark lip liner. This is my favourite, it's actually from LA Girls. 
and it's super affordable. Today I'm mixing a lot of colours, I'm beginning with my NARS Audacious lipsticks. They are stunning colours, one is called Jane, one is called Barbara, you'll see how well they work together now. I'm using the NARS lip cream to blend the colours together. So guys that is pretty much it, for me this is my ideal evening look. I wore this both to an engagement party and a dinner out with my friends. You can play it up and play it down with your outfit. You can also add some gloss if you wanted to. Thank you so much for watching guys. Leave your comments and suggestions below and I hope to see you very soon. Oh.